What's up y'all? I want to welcome y'all back to AD Cooks and on the menu today is a simple baked chicken recipe but with a little twist to it. Uh, what we have in front of us is some uh, pieces of uh, chicken wings that we've cut. If you want yours to stay whole, you can. It's up to you. It's your food. You have to eat it. We also have us a chimichurri sauce that I made. I am not going to show you how I made the chimichurri sauce. I have a video. I think it's a steak and chimichurri sauce that I'll leave down in the description below and it shows you how to make this sauce. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, season our meat and then we're going to marinate it in this uh, chimichurri sauce and then we're going to bake it. Amazing. First, we're going to start off with us a little bit of smoked paprika. And this is very simple because there's a lot of flavor in this chimichurri sauce. So we're not really adding much to this uh, chicken. I'm gonna uh, go with some uh, black pepper. And you can either do seasoning salt or just regular salt. We're gonna go with a little bit of seasoning salt. And I'm not gonna season this much because my chimichurri sauce has a uh, nice amount of salt in it. So we're not gonna go crazy on the salt. All right, once we've mixed up all of our seasonings into our chicken, we're gonna go in with our chimichurri sauce. I'm gonna probably do about maybe three tablespoons of this chimichurri sauce. And what you wanna do is kinda of massage all of that into the chicken. Uh, you can also do it two ways. I'm doing it this way so you all can see the presentation of it. And also, basically, I can tell you this chimichurri sauce is basically what I put in mine. is green onions, cilantro, uh, parsley flakes, red pepper flakes, um, garlic, and uh, olive oil. That's the basic to a chimichurri sauce. You also can add like an acidity to it, uh, like a uh, lemon juice to kind of give it a little acidity, but that's basically what it is. And you just blend it up and this is what you have. So what we're gonna do, because I don't want my hands to get messy off camera, we're gonna massage this chimichurri sauce into our chicken. All right, guys, we have our chimichurri sauce mixed in with our chicken. For the best results, you wanna kinda let this marinate anywhere from an hour to, uh, I mean, if you can let it marinate overnight, that would be great as well. But I, I believe you'll get a lot of that flavor if you let this kinda sit. So what we're gonna do since we're cooking and I did not as a cook for you all, did not prep this. I didn't have a second one ready. We're gonna do ours for about an hour in the refrigerator. We're gonna cover with uh, some saran wrap and let it marinate. Uh, if I wasn't doing this video, I probably would have just kind of mixed all of this together in a Ziploc bag, threw it in the refrigerator and let it marinate it. But I just kind of wanted you to see uh, how it looks with the uh, chimichurri and the uh, seasonings and everything on it, just a better presentation. So what we'll do is cover this in the refrigerator, uh, cover it with saran wrap, and then you also wanna kind of turn on your oven to 350. And uh, once these have marinated, we'll go ahead and dump them or throw them in the oven. All right, guys, we went ahead and let our chicken marinate for about an hour, maybe a little longer. And what we're gonna do is take our chicken and just place it in a foil dish of your choice. And 
and, and and to me it works better with cutting them into like wingets because uh, those uh, a whole chicken wing kind of just gets in the way and you can't get as many of them in here and this works just gonna take a little more of that chimichurri sauce wash my hands we're gonna take some more of that smoked paprika and uh, let's put some on top and I have also tried this you all on the grill uh, I will do this recipe on the grill once the weather gets better here in st. Louis but right now uh, we're doing them baked so what we'll do is cover this with foil, uh, turn your oven to 350, and uh, get these babies baking. All right, chicken has been on for about an hour and 30 minutes covered. And I uh, just kind of want to let you all see what things are looking like. Uh, I also want to let you know that you need to take the juices from the bottom of this and kind of as we continue to finish cooking this, we want to kind of do this periodically. And at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, throw it back in the oven, uncover it this time, and finish the cooking process. So the totality of being covered has been about an hour and 30 minutes, and we're going to throw it back in the oven, uncover it. Okay guys, chicken was cooked for about 30 to 40, 30 to 40 minutes uncovered. And uh, through the whole process of that 30 to 40 minutes, I was uh, kind of basting our chicken with the spoon. We've ran out of a lot of that juice and grease, so uh, it's not much more to really baste. But what we're going to do is we're going to cover our chicken with our oil that you left over, that you should have had left over. And uh, we're just going to let things cool down and then we'll plate. All right, guys, what we're doing right now is we're plating our chicken. We uh, put us a little bit of uh, ranch dressing because this goes good with some ranch dressing. I don't know. It just seems like the... Uh, the chimichurri and the uh, different uh, greens that we uh, had in the chimichurri just pairs very well with some uh, ranch dressing. So that's what we're gonna pair things with in this video. And we wanna make things neat. Real simple, easy recipe you all. You just have to uh, follow the description down below for that chimichurri. I do mine, it's a little different. I add like a uh, green onion that's not actually what a lot of recipes call for. turns out pretty nice uh, the one that I use when I add the uh, green onions to it and also in some recipes cilantro isn't used in it as well I hope I left it in the video that I was using cilantro in the chimichurri sauce but again all you have to do is follow that recipe that I'll leave down in the description and you should be good. These are our baked chicken wings, 80 cook style. They have a crisp to them because I uh, kind of uh, baked them uncovered for about 30 to 40 minutes and uh, dipping it in that ranch sauce. I mean, amazing, easy, simple meal. I really appreciate you all for tuning in like share and subscribe 
and peace.